Hi guys and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. My name is Crystal. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys enjoy these kinds of videos. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep watching videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's get started with this week's what's for dinner. Hi guys, so for today's dinner we're going to be doing ribs. Um, this one my sister-in-law sent this out to us. These are uh, pork ribs. They're already seasoned with a nice rub. They're ready to go. I have purchased these in the past and they're pretty good. So my husband's outside with the grill. He's going to cook these up. I also bought another one that I'm going to marinate and I'm going to show you right now. Um, but these will be really easy. She did purchase these at Costco and they're ready to go. So we're going to cook up this. I'm actually going to go send that out with him right now. And then I'll show you how I make an easy rub for the next ones that don't have a rub on them. Okay, so I have uh, the pork ribs here. These are pork loin ribs that I got at the Costco Business business Center. I had them in my freezer and I defrosted them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a simple pork rub. Um, but since we are going to add barbecue to this after they're fully cooked, I'm not going to go crazy. So I'm just going to add a little a bit of barbecue. I mean barbecue. A little bit of brown sugar and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of paprika I'm looking for that color and then I'm gonna add some of my favorite lower season salt and then I'm not gonna add pepper because I don't have it with me I left it outside while they're grilling um, but I am gonna add some fresh garlic because I don't have garlic powder so I'm gonna use some fresh garlic and I'm marinating three racks of rib so I'm not not marinating them I'm just gonna put like a rub to them Mommy. yeah what happened and then just give it a good mix like this. I don't want huge chunks of, of garlic in there, but I do want some flavor. Okay. Oh, that's good. I had to try it. I know it sounds gross to try it, but you have to. Um, you have to know what you're adding. So, very little bit. I'm not going to go crazy in there. And I'm so sorry. I did not measure nothing. It's just eyeballing. Just the way I work. But if I can, when I'm editing, I'll probably... I can eyeball what, how much I added. Okay. So, have one here. I'm going to rub it. And just It's really important to get... Um, a nice rub on there. Oh, I put that you know what? I need two gloves for this. Okay. And then I need this nice and rubbed and massage in there. Yeah, I'll flip that over. Looks like they already removed that gray stuff. And just very little bit, but this rub is actually really really good if you have your favorite pork rub that you use or chicken rub or what just if you just want to add like regular seasoned salt salt and pepper you add whatever seasoning you want this is just showing you what i work with okay just really massaging it and giving it some love i'm gonna <clears throat> finish rubbing the rest of them off camera but i'm gonna show you what they look like all grilled up look at that beauty smells amazing so on the day that we were grilling um i also marinated some chicken 
All I did was use this Olive Garden Italian dressing. It is so good. I actually filmed how to make it on my What I Eat in a Day. If you guys are interested, I will put that video up in the i card as well as in the description. And pretty much all I did was add two tablespoons per chicken breast, and it was like the perfect um, ratio for it. It was so delicious. I marinated six chicken breasts, and they came out so good. Um, I made some because my mother-in-law doesn't eat um, much pork. So um, I, I gave her that option to make chicken and so did I. I wasn't going to eat a lot of ribs and I was eating the chicken breast so it was really really good. I just let it marinate for not too long um, and my husband uh, grilled it up outside. You guys will see right now. By the way this dressing was actually picked up at Costco. My sister-in-law gave it to me so thank you so much for that. Hey guys. Today my dad is making breakfast and now we're eating dinner. <laughs> they're making ribs. They're playing, we're eating lunch. Then it's almost where we're going to eat dinner because there's smoking everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, though. Smoking because I can see fire. So these are the ones that are already uh, marinated. Mar have the rub, not marinated. It's like a rub. Oh! And then we'll cook the other ones that I rubbed and then the chicken. So my husband cooked the ribs and pretty much once they were seasoned, um, he added barbecue to them and then they were done. As you can tell, that was Estrella telling you guys what we were doing. Um, that's my youngest. I always say that little girl can take over my channel. Um, anytime she sees the camera or she hears me filming, she quickly pops up. She's such a cutie and I've seen people in the comments catch that. So if you guys uh, hear her uh, in the background or in the video and you guys really enjoy that, I appreciate that. Uh, I have three girls so it's always sweet to hear them um, in the videos while I'm editing. So here this chicken is, uh, they're grilling up the chicken. They're also making tacos of frijoles with chorizo. Um, if you guys want to see how to make those frijoles with chorizo, I'll link up that video. We also had some corn. We just had a lot of food on this day. It was a lot of eating, eating. Uh, puro come, come. Um, and these are fully loaded uh, mashed potatoes that my sister-in-law made. This is the only picture or video that I took of the plate. Um, I have the corn, the rib, the chicken, the potatoes and the sparkling ice. I actually filmed this for what I eat in a day because it was just a lot of food. I forgot to film the rest of it, but it was so, so good, and that was dinner on that day. Hi guys, so for today's dinner, we're just having sopa de fideo. I will try to link down a video where I show you guys exactly how to make this. My daughter's not feeling so good. She just had a dentist emergency, had to get a tooth out, so that's why she requested this soup. No, Mama, I don't have to show them. Oh, boo boo, yeah. <laughs> okay, go sit down. You guys, my taste. Um, so um, this is what we're having for dinner, and um, if you guys want to see how I make this soup, um, I will put link down a video how I make it, and we're also gonna be having leftover ribs and potatoes. I don't think we're 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 out of the chicken, um, so we're just gonna do that with leftovers. I just don't have a time to show um, how to plate it up. And this is what we're having for dinner. So on this day, um, we had a pizza, salad, and watermelon. It was my nephew's birthday. And then also, too, um, there was nachos, and we had some of that. And that was dinner for that day. So on this day, my mother-in-law made caldo de res. Caldo de res is a traditional Mexican soup. It has cabbage, vegetables, beef, very flavorful and really good. I actually have a video on how she makes it. Very simple and delicious. So you guys want to check that video out. That video will also be in the iCard and in the description. And that was dinner on this day. Okay, so for today's dinner, um, we're going to start by cooking up some corn. We're going to actually have a very easy dinner today. Um, but we're gonna cook up some corn first. Gonna make some sandwiches and then we're gonna also cut up some watermelon. Gonna see how many of these I can fit in here. And I'll pop a lid on there. Whatever we don't eat, I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag, but 
I easily want two of them. Just gonna let them cook up for a bit and then I'm gonna show you simple, easy sandwiches. Ooh, daddy's Ooh. cutting a Costco watermelon. Can the can kids, <laughs> watch out with the knife. So we're gonna cut up some watermelon Ooh. to go with our fruit. Ooh, that looks so good. We got a good one. That and then really stay good. tuned. You guys will see God willing the Costco shop with me and haul soon. That's gonna be our next upload. Yes. Look at that. Oh my God, it smells awesome. Oh, even though I'm so close, I can so strong. Yeah. As my, you want to let it kid me? Mm. Okay. I'm going to finish after I see this one. Mm. And get eaten. My mouth already watered. Good yeah, job. Right now, so Who always picks the watermelon? Ooh, daddy. I mean, oh, that's the best part right there. <laughs> She's just waiting for it. <laughs> Estrella sees it. She's going to... Freya! Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I need some. Hey, you want to take a bite? No, you eat that one, Mama. You enjoy it. I'll get a piece right now. Estrella, look it! No, no ponga los dedos. Espérate. Look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. She's waiting. Look at her face. Show her. Dale una sandita a la cara. Here, Estrella. Estrella. She you finish your blueberries? You're cutting off the white because the white doesn't I'm gonna eat it already. Okay, let me see. Just watch out, it's there. Watch out. Can I get another chunk of them? Mm-hmm, it's because they're just... Oh, you're making cubes? Oh my god, can I hold that? Okay, while he's cutting the watermelon, quickly want to show you this cute little apron. Um, it is black with turquoise uh, aqua and like black and white polka dots. It has cute little pockets. It is so freaking cute. I love it. This is so my style. Um, Lade and Z sent it out uh, to me for Mother's Day. So I just want to say a huge thank you. They did not have to send this out. They actually have YouTube channels of their own. So I'm going to put it down in the description so you guys can go check out their channel and go show them some love and support because they honestly sub sub <laughs> they honestly surprised me with this. Um, this is so me. I love aprons. It is like a nice fitted ones, which is really cute. And then uh, the style, like this is so, so me. Black with the white polka dots and the aqua. And then I love that it has has little pockets so thank you so much ladies i really appreciate it and like i said please go check out their channel and go show them some love and support they did not have to do this and i really appreciate that they took the time to do this so thank you ready yeah oh my goodness you should have left the skin estrella dada ate this don't pay attention to the clothes over there we did laundry it's okay just pick it up look i'm gonna do something Already it just there? hasn't folded. It's oh okay. My God. I know she dropped a lot of stuff. Babe, in small pieces? Como quieras. I, mean, I think in cube this fine. We'll put it in a little Tupperware. I need a napkin for there. me. Okay, so we're making sandwiches. My kids made their own, which was really nice. I just have regular white bread. I'm gonna toast mine right now, and my husband doesn't want his toasted. I just got good fancy cheese, a craft kind lettuce. I have some Mustard. pepperoncinis. Are these pepperoncinis or chile hueritos? No, not chile hueritos. I don't know, but they're chiles and I like them. They're like vinegary but spicy. And, and then I have some pepperoni slices that I like to add. These are just regular ones. They're not like the turkey ones, so I'm gonna add it to my husband's. Have mustard. We have mustard. Thank you, Estrella. We have a little bit of mayo. And then I have ham. This is the ham that I get at Costco. And then I picked this up at Costco. This is going to be the first time I try it. It's the sliced oven roasted turkey breast, which it looks really good. Look, it looks like a deli meat one. So I'm going to show you how I make this. And then I'm going to show you also to how we have it all plated up. The watermelon is cut really nice. Let me show you. Everybody's munching on it. So if you hear a lot of slurping, that's what it is. Oh, we just love it. This is just half, but pretty much this is going to be gone right now. And he'll probably have to cut the other half. Mm -hmm.
No ice sour cream. Mm. 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 Do you want turkey or ham? Ham. Yeah. Yeah. You want to cut in half? Yes. A half or triangle? Uh, a triangle. <laughs> Mine's so plain. Simple. And then you're going to have it with some yeah. chips. Thank you. Okay. Okay. He's going to ah. have it with some spicy nacho chips. Um, I forgot to add some jalapenos. So I'm going to add some. Show the jalapeno. Oh, lo quieres entero? They're enteros? No. They're like slices. Yeah, they are. This is the jalapenos that we use. I'm gonna put it in a jar right now. You have not added a jalapeno to your sandwich. You are missing out. I'm just saying. If you like it spicy. Okay. What is that? Beeping noise. Sandwich. Chips, and then he's the gonna water. have watermelon. It's the water. Sounds so satisfying. Mm -hmm. The crunch of the toasted bread. Mm -hmm. mm. Aguacate would go really good with this, but they're not ripe enough. Yeah. And here is Esme eating her dinner. Second, Second sandwich. <laughs> Cheeto puffs and some watermelon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Babe, how is it good? Super good. They already finished, so she's gone. She's gone. And we're gonna have to make Emily something because she doesn't really like sandwiches. So. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, so last but not least, this is my sandwich, and then I'm having the corn um, on the side, and then the watermelon, and then the sandwich you guys saw me make. This is gonna be this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to keep watching more What's for Dinners, I do have a playlist of over, I believe, 20 What's for Dinners. So go ahead if you guys want to watch those. If you guys can share this video with someone you know to get some new dinner ideas, I would really appreciate that. And for more videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next week on the next... No, What's no, no. for Dinner? No, not those. Are... I will see you guys on the next one. There we go. Thanks for watching as always. Bye. Bye. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours